Hey guys, how's it going? I hope it's going good. As you might have noticed, the photo book section in the Create module has gotten a new outfit, and that's because the team here at Zoner Photo Studio have outdone themselves and brought you a special update beyond the regular spring and autumn update we're all used to. And we also think that having a physical copy of your photographs brings them so much closer than the, their digital counterparts who we've been used to for almost the past two decades. So today I'd like to show you some basic things you can do and take advantage of all the work you've done. So let's go check it out. I've already got Zoner Photo Studio open here, so let's move on to the Create module. And right here underneath Photo Book, you can see either the option of creating a new project or finding your old projects. So we've updated that to help you out. But for today, I'm going to create a new one. And I've already got my photos ready to go right here in the film strip. So just to get you orientated, this is the cover of the book itself. Page one, two, three, and so on. And then the last page here. You'll notice that on the end page and on the front page, there's a blank page to help with the adhesive. If you need more pages, just add another page here. But for today's purposes, I have only have a few photos just to show you how to take advantage of the book. And this is going to be more than enough. Before you start making your book, the first thing you should consider is the format. We've got your standard A4 which is about eight and a half by 11 for those in the States. And then we offer the photo books in either standard or high definition format. Of course, the high definition is of better quality. And then we have different orientations. We have the landscape orientation, portrait, and then we also have a square. And choose whatever floats your boat. For, for today's purposes, we're doing a lot of landscape photos. So I'm definitely going to pick the high definition landscape version. Next, there are several colors and templates to choose from. Uh, we've created a lot of templates that aesthetically combine background colors with text, but you're definitely not limited to these and you can choose whatever you want. So you can, for example, pick this one and you can change the background color to something else and the text color, same thing. But for today, I'm just gonna use the basic white template with the black text in the background. I think it's a basic and really clean look. Next, notice the page layout, where you'll find two page spread style templates based on the number of photos per page. And the templates are either photos only or photos with text. And if you're like me, you probably like things easy, right? So don't worry about the templates for now, but just start adding photos and let Zoner figure it out for you. Just like that. I think I made a mistake here. I don't like this combination very much. So to jump into the actual page, you can either double click or hit preview here and I'm going to replace this photo. How about this one? Okay, that makes a bit more sense. I'm gonna go back out to pages. And I just wanna show you what happens when you play with the, with the layout. Okay, and let's try another combination. Hmm. How about this one? And this one here. I'm gonna go into preview. And I wanted to show you how you can adjust individual photos on any given page. So when you're here in the preview mode, when you click on an individual photo, you can move it around slightly so that what you see changes. But what if I want to add some text? Well, that's super easy. I think if I were to pick one between these two, I'd place it here. This is not something you have to do. This is just to show you what you can do to move it around. Select move frame. 
I'm gonna change the size up a bit and I'm gonna try changing the size of the font. So that's just an example. Definitely not something that needs to be here. I think it doesn't suit this very well, but perhaps you have a photo and you wanna add something to it, for like a memory or just something to keep in mind, you can do it like this. Next, you can also freely add a photograph if you'd like. So I just go here to place image, but first I'm gonna select which one. How about this one? Add image. It doesn't really make sense here, but I just want to do to see what can be done. We'll get rid of that. Another thing we've considered is fitting the photos or fitting the format, which is here. And it sounds complicated, but it's not. And it's definitely something worth your while. Selecting the template to format means that the photos abide by or are set within the template rules. And this photo right here was taken with a different crop, so it's actually much wider than what you see here. So if I choose fit template to photos, you can see that now I get the full scope of this photo. The last option here is the fit frame to square photos. And what that does is it puts each photo at a one-to-one -one ratio. And in this case, I don't think it looks very good. So I'm gonna go back to the settings we most recommend. Fitting the template to format usually gives you the best result, but you have to count that the one of the pictures might be cropped, not as you want. So actually in this case, I think the best looking version would be like this and fitting the template to the photo itself. In any case, you can do it in any way you like, and that's why we've given you several options. Don't forget to check out the layouts and play around with frames and borders. You can even select different colors, and different backgrounds. Let's see. So you can see the edges around here. In this case, I might put it back to format so that it's same on both sides. And if you want to, I don't think it'll look good here, but you have the option of adding a different background color if you'd like. And don't worry about uh, having to set the adjustments for each page individually. Just click down here and set for all. And now, all of your pages moving forward will have the exact same look. I wanted to mention that some of these photos uh, aren't as high resolution. Some were taken by a DSLR and some were taken by a drone. So it's up to you. Zoner just wants to point out that these photos might not be of the quality when it's printed. But in my case, these photos mean a lot to me, so I want to take the risk regardless, and they don't look that bad when I preview them either, so I'm just going to keep them. I've already said it before, but feel free to add text wherever you feel that it makes sense. So here on our cover page, I think that's definitely somewhere I'd like it, the text to be. and you can change size, font, bold, etc. So just play around with it and see what fits. I'm gonna go back to pages, and when I go to different templates, you can see, see which ones are photos only, and if you scroll a bit down, you can put in a template that already has a text box ready to be used for you. So you really can do whatever you want and what you deem fit. So for today, I'm going to finish and not actually complete the book. 
I don't even have enough pictures to, to really make a full book. I just wanted to show you some of the things you can do. But when you're done with your book, don't forget to do one of the most important things which we've created for you. And that's to actually order the product itself. You didn't think we were going to make you visit the print shop, did you? Nope. Just order it all here from Zoner Photo Studio and make sure you click the button, order. All right, so that's basically it. And I hope that was useful for you as a nice basic overview of what you can do with all the work you've done. I hope it motivates you to take advantage and create something from your photographs. Imagine down the road that you're having coffee or tea and you just pop out the photo book and take a look at it, bring back some nice memories. And it might be something to connect with, with your friends, your family, or even future generations. So let us know what you think below. And I hope to see you next time. And until then, have a good one.